Hey, He's our cat. <laughs> All right. Let's just get down to it. Okay. Let's start with Poshmark this week. All right. Poshmark, we had a lot of little sales, and they added up at the end of the week, but we'll, uh, get, we'll get there. Um, first thing that sold was this uh, Hugo Boss blue two-button sport coat. Was it blue? It, was, it, was, it looked blue to me, but... It's coming back. It's coming back. It's coming back. We had a case opened because of a discrepancy in the blue factor. Yeah, he said it was almost black. So Navy. Navy. It looks it looks navy to me, but So I guess the lesson for us and maybe you out there is to clarify what shade of blue. Perhaps we should have written midnight. Perhaps. Hmm. It's coming back to us. It's a great jacket. We sold it for too low a price anyway, so... Yeah, maybe we can do better with I think we'll do better time. next time. We wanted to get the week started <laughs> off. Sometimes that happens. Um, uh, we sold this Talbot's... Uh, oh, girl. Tweed. I got this at my first trip to the bins ever in my life. Ever. So we've had it for over a, a year. Long time. I think it was the oldest thing in our inventory. And you know what? It's not even like we got offers on it. We just... It was just there waiting for its perfect home. And, and I'm glad. Sold. Yeah, it, it sold. 25 for bucks. 25 Almost as much as the Hugo Boss jacket. Unbelievable. Hey, Talbot. <laughs> um, there's this Dave Matthews Band sweatshirt. That's from my closet. $15 sold. Not too bad. Not too bad. Then we sold this Rebecca Minkoff mm. for $25. I love that top. I think it was worth more. But you know... We, we think everything it. is worth more. No, that's not true. <laughs> I just thought that piece was really nice and it was still on the website. It so was really nice. It, 25, that's good. That's good. We had it listed at 40. Okay. These were a pair of your shoes, I think, right? These My old shoes. Asics. Yeah. Cool. 10 bucks. Eh. Eh. They didn't fit me anymore. My foot grew. <laughs> Don't ask. <laughs> Then we sold this uh, awesome 90s dress for this a... This dress, it was so cool. $5. $5. Y'all... It was so cool back in the day. No, no, no. It's a new version of that. Yeah, but... You know. And it, we've had it for so long, and I thought it would sell, and we've just got nothing but lowball offers, like really low offers, so finally I just took it. <laughs> I couldn't I Couldn't, couldn't take it, it anymore. <laughs> no. Couldn't share it anymore. Um, cool, and then we sold another sale bundle, 5 for 35 um, it was this Thomas Pink ladies shirt with French cuffs. If we were in England, that shirt would have sold for a lot more. Yeah. There's some English brands, I used to live in England, that sell way better there. So I pick them up here thinking they'll sell and they don't. That shirt sat for a really long time. And French cuffs. So great. This okay. brand does better for men's though, I think. They do. You're right. You're right. Um, what is this? Land's End pants? These mustard yellow? Yeah. Yes. And they were new tags, right? Or something? Uh, no. Oh, that must have been no, my Halloween face. No, I don't think face. so. Yeah. <laughs> um, also, the, what is this? This Edme and S. Mm? Okay, that's an anthropology brand. I'll just, just call it anthropology. On. That's right. great. This and it was... J. Crew perfect shirt in awesome leopard print. I love that shirt. We got so many lowball offers on that shirt too. It was yeah. a great shirt. And then this Talbot's blue gingham polka dot shirt. Is it the week out of the bundle. Talbot's? It must be. Yes. It must be. I think there was only two tablets items we had in our closet. Bye. Get them out of here. Um, okay, this 100% silk Burberry sport coat. I think this one was semi-vintage. Semi Could be vintage. Yeah. This one was nice. It was a really nice one. Yeah. We have a little story about a not-so-nice one. While I was looking this up to make sure, before we accept an offer, I kind of have been in this pattern of checking comps. 
to make sure that our comps haven't changed in the mojo in the year that we've had things listed, sometimes up to a year. So I checked the comps again, and I came across one of our listings, and it was fake as hell. It sure was. It was fake. We had listed a fake Burberry coat because <laughs> we did not know what we were doing, and I looked at our pictures. It was a faux Burberry. It was faux. Burry. It was not good. And, you know, we took it down. I took it down. I'm glad we didn't yep. sell it. So everybody, check your labels. Make sure your stitching is straight. Yeah. This was straight up just a regular it sport was, It was a hat coat. job. And someone had hack job the label into it. And yeah, I'm glad we found it before we sent it to someone. But, but this, this one, one was right. This one was real, and it sold for 40 bucks, which is a great deal for a silk Burberry sport coat. Yeah. Did you have it listed low? Uh, probably. Probably. Not that low. I think that's somebody sent me an offer on that, I think. We've been taking a lot of offers. Um, we sold this Soma bra for 12 bucks. Love selling bras. Your favorite. Um, another bra in this two item bundle with a Nike dry fit tank top. That bundle sold what for 20 bucks for the two yeah. items. We've had that tank top for over a year as well. So that's yeah, it's good to get it out of stuff. here. We finally sold this Bowden skirt for eh, 10 bucks. You guys, all Bowden is not created equal. YouTube lied to me when we started <laughs> and I got everything that was Bowden. If they had said Bowden on it, it got in my cart. No lie. This was an ugly skirt, and I knew it. Okay, for somebody, it's probably not ugly. For this person, they probably love it. But it had a lot of likes. Look at that. It had like 18 likes. Oh, girl. Anyway, it didn't sell for a year. Not all Bowden is created equal. I know the new Bowden tag has a yellow dot on it. I've since found that out, so look oh, for that. Good to know. Yeah, and just pick for, <laughs> based on style. This looks like an early 2000s to me, doesn't it? Like, can't hardly wait situation? Mm, no comment. Okay. <laughs> Um, we sold this Ted Baker shirt for 15 bucks. What? That's crazy. Yeah. It's the week of the pink shirts, though. It is the pink shirt week. Okay. Getting ready for Mother's Day, maybe? Maybe. I mean, Ted Baker retails for a lot, but it doesn't always resell for a lot. So yeah. So you have to be kind of picky. Yeah. We've sold some things. We have. It usually does decently well. I think that was a dated style. It's pink. It is very pink. And green. Pink and green. Yeah, it was a deal. <laughs> it's okay. Um, okay, we did a three-item vital, three-item bundle. <laughs> okay. For thirty-six dollars. I like that. That yeah. sounds better. Yeah. So it had this mod cloth romper. We've had that for since last summer. Yep. Great piece. This extra large polo logo. Polo. polo. Shirt. <laughs> Polo logo polo. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> and these Betsy Johnson pajama set. That pajama set had so many likes. It has cherries so on it. So many likes. It's so likes. cute. Yeah. It was so cute. We had just listed that, so I'm glad it got to a new home. Okay. Uh, another pair of your old shoes. Can you tell Pumas I've been cleaning out my closet? With the gigantic pink ball in the back? I sense judgment in your voice. No. Those were awesome <laughs> shoes. <laughs> no judgment. But like I said, my foot grew. At all. I'm 37 and my foot grew. Okay. Um, we had a lot of stuff going on Poshmark this week. Yeah. Um, this, what is this? It's a Uniqlo. Yeah, Uniqlo, Andy Warhol, Campbell's Soup Can Print t-shirt. Yeah, there were no comps on this. There's some similar things in other brands, but for this exact shirt, there wasn't, so I didn't really know how to price it. I think we did okay. Yeah, it sold for 18 bucks. In a couple of weeks. Yeah, I think I paid a dollar for it, so yeah. that works. Love that. Um, another two item bundle. I can't talk today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it, these two shirts. These two shirts. Yes. Five for 35, two items, seven bucks a piece. So $14 for the bundle. So it was a Superman shirt, which I thought was cool. And a Space Jam shirt. The old school Space Jam. So when we started doing Posh, everyone on YouTube <laughs> was like, get double extra larges, get band tees, get novelty t-shirts. So we did. Mm -hmm. And guess what? They have they not sat. sold. They've been sitting. <laughs> so we're really happy to get these two new homes. Yes. Um, okay, this little anthro stars dress. Love that. Ooh, 20 mine. bucks. It was yours. I figured. I, I think that could have gone for more because it's very cute. Yeah. In my opinion. But I'm happy it sold very quickly. It did. Um, uh, which jeans are these? Are these Veronica the, Beards? the Veronica Beards? Story yes. time. Story time. They sold for $35. I had them listed originally at 100 and then we dropped them to 80 and then I yep. got an offer for $35, and, and I was you were appalled. 
upset. I was upset. I don't <laughs> like less than 50% offers. I feel like it's rude. Well, I did my thing that I've been doing, and I went and comped them again. And it turns out they were for sale on Nordstrom Rack for $22.95 and on the Veronica Beard website for $40. But when I had first listed them, they were $198 on Veronica Beard on the website. But they sat long enough that they had clearanced out, and this girl could have bought a full price pair of jeans. For 45 bucks. Yeah. And so I was like very, very happy to take her $35 offer. I'm so glad I didn't count her. I would have lost the sale. Yep. Always check your comps. That's what I'm learning. That's the lesson this week. And that's the last sale for Poshmark. Okay. And then let's move on to Mercari. We had a couple of sales. I'll take it. Right. So we sold a four item bundle on Mercari. And I found out this, this out the hard way that Mercari does not technically support bundling items. So Learning. somebody somebody contacted me through the app and was like, hey, I want to bundle some stuff. So I was like, okay, let me figure out how to do that. So I started doing some research and I found on Mercari's FAQ, they actually suggest creating a new listing with the four items as one listing and then pricing it for you know the total price as the bundle. So I did that. I priced it at a hundred bucks uh, and we sold four items for a hundred bucks and it was this lag and look sweater. Okay. Thing. Hold on. I was nervous about this. Okay. Why? Because in the bundle listing, it didn't have all the details. Yeah. I threw it together real fast. Yeah. But I mean, so would anybody watching this, right? right? Cause you just have a buyer, but yeah. then the, if say that buyer is like not satisfied with something in that bundle, you yeah. have no proof to say that it was in the listing. Ah, see, watch out guys. I was nervous about this. It, it worked out this time. We'll keep you posted. We'll see yeah. what happens. Oh, it hasn't worked out necessarily. <laughs> okay. Yes. <laughs> but we had just listed the stuff, so that's great. Yeah. Okay. So it was this patchwork sweater that I you found? I love these. Yeah. I find these all the time at thrift stores. There's one with the zip up. I know you guys have seen these. Yeah. Get them. They sell really quickly. Uh, this really neat J. Crew sweater with the buttons on the front, and it had like rabbit hair in it. It had a really unique fabric feeling. It was very, very soft. It was nice. And that was from Poshmark. We sourced that on Poshmark. Okay. Yeah. Um, this Maeve top, which we didn't know is a bird print, but once you see the birds, you can't not see the birds. When I was comping it, I'm like, Dan, this is called a bird top. Concentrate like, on the blue, not the white, and you'll see the birds. It's like a magic eye <laughs> to bird top. It was, so then I got to list it under novelty print, yep. and when you list that, things sell. And th this DVF tunic rounded out the bundle. We love Diane von Furstenberg on this channel. I will sell anything. If it has DVF and a hologram, I will sell it. And we did. That's true. Sometimes it takes a little while, but the right person will, will, will buy it for, for what it's worth. Yeah. We sold DVF last week and this week. Yep. Coming up. And so that's so, it. So that's for that, that bundle. We also sold this uh, UT Longhorns logo shirt. We have a lot of Texas logo stuff in our closet because yeah. we live in Texas. Yep. That sold for $16. $16. Uh, and then we sold some eBay stuff. Y'all, I try to get into the bolo game. <laughs> I try to go dusty shopping. Dusties. I was really into it before the quarantine. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think you saw these like on clearance at a grocery store or something. Mm -hmm. and you were like, oh, I remember this. I'm so like, we grabbed get them, them in up. the cart. The Nature's Gate lotions. You guys know about this. Yes. They, they sold, yeah, we listed, I listed them for $16, which was the eBay recommended price. So I just went with it. Uh, and they, one guy bought both of them. So maybe we had them priced too low. I'm not sure, but probably they sold. So that was great. Uh, we also sold these J Crew swim shorts for, for the third uh, time, second time for twelve bucks. Oh no, I had an offer for them on Poshmark. Oh, did you? Uh huh. Oh, okay. Third time, <laughs> but the payment didn't go through. Right, it, but this time it, payment actually went through. Okay, and we actually gone. shipped them. They're gone. They're out of here. I don't know what it was with those shorts. How much did we sell them for? Twelve dollars. All right. Okay, now we do our results for our first ever shoe auctions. We're starting Sunday shoe auctions. Yeah. We do them every Sunday night. Let them go for a week, and then yep. supposedly that's the golden hour. It's like nine o'clock on a Sunday. Yeah. That's what we've been doing. We'll we'll let you know. Nine, nine o'clock central, so that the auction ends seven o'clock on the west coast. And ten o'clock on the east coast. Yep. Um. So we got a bunch of free pairs of shoes. 
uh, athletic shoes that we probably wouldn't list on Poshmark for anything. Yeah, they're like dad shoes. So we were just like, eh, let's put them up on eBay. So it worked out. So this Under Armour pair of Micro G Pulse training shoes ended up selling for $26. Yeah, that was like the best one of the group. And I didn't even know anything about Under Armour shoes. I didn't either. I would have never in my whole life picked those up. And I don't remember for a fact, but I think that auction started at like 6 bucks. I would have went, never picked them up. It went all the way to $26. Look at those Under Armors, guys. Um, this Adidas pa pair of running shoes sold for 7 bucks. Whatever. They had they, some wear. They're not brand new or anything. Yeah, but they were, like, I mean, they were free. So no, we'll that's what I'm saying. 7 bucks. Like, yeah. 7 bucks for you shoes. Um, I'll take it. This Nike uh, basketball shoes sold for $15. Almost fifteen fifty. Not bad. Again, not bad for free shoes. Yeah, but we had a couple other pairs of basketball shoes that are not that didn't sell. No, but they're still up there. So if you're looking for some cheap basketball shoes, hit us up, eBay, Puzzle Couple. Um. Okay, that is everything. That's everything. That's everything. So everything totaled up for the week across all of our channels. Um, earnings for the week before uh, cost of goods was four hundred and seventy-five bucks. Not a bad week. Not a bad week. We didn't put much time, if I'm honest, into reselling this week because yeah, we, we were had a working lot of other projects on another on. creative project, a big, huge, creative musical video project. And so we didn't have a ton of time, and I fully expect once we get back in the swing, we can make that number higher. Yeah. Uh, it's definitely been better than previous. You know, the past couple of weeks have been steady. I hope you guys are seeing that in your sales, too. Take those low things, get them out of your closet because all those little sales, they add up. I mean, 500 they add bucks. Up. Yep, 500 bucks on, like, what? And I don't think we had a sale over $40. Yeah, it adds up. Yep. So that's what we're learning because we did a lot of counter offering when we started. We used to, yeah. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> well, I hope you guys have a great week. Stay safe. Stay at home if you can. And if you do have to be out there, wear a mask. We'll see you guys next week. Bye.